In addition to leaf spots, bacterial pathogens can also cause leaf blights. This is bacterial blight of geranium, a very common disease. If you ever grow geraniums and save your plants year after year, this is definitely a disease that you will probably eventually encounter. The disease typically starts as individual spots. You can see an example of that in the very center leaf in this particular photo. There are a couple of kind of angular defined leaf spots with yellow halos. Eventually the infected area will become larger and kind of wedge shaped. You can see that in the right leaf in this particular photo. You get this movement of the bacteria from the edge of the leaf back towards the petiole. So it'll look kind of like a pie shaped infected dead area on the leaf. Again, you can see a yellow halo. And then eventually when the bacterium gets to the main stem, it will cause the collapse of the petiole and the entire leaf will collapse. And that's why we call it a blight. Again, this is a disease that you're going to see if you grow geraniums and tend to keep your plants and overwinter them. Oftentimes geraniums harbor this particular bacterium without showing symptoms and it's only over time that the bacterial population increases to the point where infection and disease occur. The best way to manage this particular disease is simply to discard infected plants. There's really no way to clean them up or cure the plants once they have this bacterial disease and you don't want to keep them around because potentially the bacterium could get transferred from the infected plants to healthy plants and lead to additional disease. Once you've discarded the plants, then what you need to do is decontaminate and you can use a 10% bleach solution or 70% alcohol to do this. So decontaminate pots, decontaminate any surfaces that may have come into contact with the infected plants or any other objects or surfaces that may be contaminated. 